What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I wanted to show you what multitasking looks like on the Oculus Quest 2 and what you can do with it. It's been out for a while. It's an experimental feature, so I'll show you how to turn it on and how it works and what I think about it. So with that said, let's jump into this video. All right, guys, so we are in. This is multitasking turned on right now. I'm in my little room that I have um, activated and I have you can have up to three displays on here running at the same time which is great and the way you want to get it started if you want to turn it on is you want to go into settings so tap there go to settings go into experimental and then if you go down a little bit you're going to see multitasking turn that on right there it's gonna ask you to restart so just make sure you restart it'll then bring you back into where we are right now and we can ultimately open these windows and not everything works so right off the bat like if i want to use basically any of these apps such as like any of these video apps that put you into like a theater type place like youtube vr netflix uh the let's see any a game or something everything that i mostly tried it tries to completely close out what i have now so i'll show you for instance if i try to open up netflix it just opens up netflix it doesn't stay in a 2D environment. See, this is Netflix right here. I'm in like a theater. I'm sitting on the couch, blah, 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 blah. But in order to use this, I'm gonna go back into, I'll just open up Facebook, quit. It's gonna put me back into multitasking on here. So kind of limited in that regard in, in, in terms of what apps you can use. It has to be, it seems like it's only like 2D apps, obviously, because these are displays around here. Also, the app has to be updated to be able to be used in multitasking. But still, I can see this working in a really cool way in terms of like productivity or more work-wise stuff, not so much entertainment. I've obviously, the things I have on here are kind of entertainment. Whereas I got Facebook, I have Instagram, and then I also have my browser. But once you have these loaded up, I'll show you because I, I have, here's the, the actually go, I know files app works as well. So I'll bring up my files and files will replace whatever that, because it's in the middle, it'll replace that one. If I want to bring up uh, and they, they sit down here and you can switch between them. I can click there. You can see it'll go away or it'll bring it back up down here. I can completely close the window. So if I want to close it, I can close it. If I want to minimize it, I can minimize it. If I want to move it over, I can click and hold. Uh, where is it? There we go. I can move it basically wherever I want. Maybe I'm like, oh, I want my Facebook over there. And then I'm like, mm, Instagram. Now, nah, you know what? I want Instagram over here. And I want my, let's see, I get browser. I want my browser, let's move browser over here. And then how can I do this? Oh, I can just grab, that's right. Okay, we'll grab, put Facebook over here. Nope, not grabbing it for me. There we go. I can put Facebook there. And I have these and I can, you can see they work really, really well. They're really smooth. And I can use whichever hand I want to navigate through and click on my left or my right. I have my Instagram here. So let's see if I can play a little video here. This is a video. So I'll tap that. That's playing a video while at the same time, Clicking over, let's see, let's play this real quick. Does that play at the same time? Yep, so it's both videos play at the same time. It won't stop the video from playing while I'm also going on a browser and doing something there. We'll go to Droid Life's website. Or we'll Google it, whatever they use. I don't even know what they use for a search engine. Oh, they use Google, okay. So I'll bring up Droid Life's website while that video is still playing and everything runs really, really, really smooth. I was really impressed with this. And this is a cool little thing, you know, like how much does it cost for a, a, to have a monitor? Think about it like that, like just one monitor. And then add three monitors, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars, possibly thousand or over a thousand. So this is really cool. These are really big displays, really easy to see. I can move them around if I want. I can click and drag and make them go behind me or something. That way I can see my artwork in front of me. I can change the room that these are sitting in and the settings. So if I go into settings and I go into, I think it's personalization. Yeah, visual environment. I can come in here and like, you know what? I want it to be a little bit more 
relaxing or different. Let's choose, let's choose this one and it's gonna change. And you see I'm in a different environment now, a little bit more zen. There's like a Japanese, I think it's a Japanese garden type house. And I can put this over here and see what's behind the wall. So this is really, really cool stuff. I just, now it would be cool if I could somehow, and there's more apps. I haven't looked through every single app, but based off these apps, this is where you can, you know, this is your, these are gonna, you're gonna get the most value for your money with these apps where, you know, the Facebooks and the browser and the Instagrams and um, the files app and the TV app for, for Oculus. So if I open that up, it's gonna open here. This just shows you know, like TV things and then you can download. If you go into channels, it'll tell you which channels you can download. I don't think Facebook Watch will probably bring me into the app, but ultimately this is pretty much what you can do with it. Pretty cool. Uh, I wish the YouTube app was able to be used in here. It's not. I guess I could probably just go to the YouTube website. So let me bring up that. Maybe that might be a workaround. Let me bring this up and just see if I can go to YouTube. Let's see, maybe I can watch videos this way and get around being able to not have, to, I can't use the YouTube VR app. Here we go. And then we'll just search for Greggles TV. Okay, here we go. We'll choose a video right here, at least an hour ago. There's a commercial, whoops so nice to commercials. I'm not logged into my account, that's why it's playing commercials. Uh, we'll just look at uh, this while that plays, there we go, it's done now. Okay, so there you can do that. You could have a video play here. News. How is everyone and it's doing? playing the audio. Couple of news stories, a lot of questions. What happens if I make it full screen? Okay, so making it full screen obviously takes you out of the other takes you out of the uh, immersiveness of having three displays. So there you guys go. That is multitasking currently on the Oculus Quest. Let me know what you guys think about it. I think this is cool. What kind of ways would you want to use it? And what ways could they improve it? Let me know in the comments down below. There's also these little menu buttons here that come up. You can you know, go back if you're in the browser, refresh it with, oh, that was in the browser. That was uh, Facebook. And they're all pretty much the same. That one doesn't have it. But anyways, kind of cool stuff. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.